Hey what's up guys, today I'll be showing you some awesome launches that will totally set your device apart from the rest. Let's get started. Starting off we have AIO Launcher. So this one has everything and I mean every single thing in a list form. At the top you have the time followed by the date and weather. Below that you have a monitor where you can see the battery, RAM and storage. After that you have music controls and some of your most used recent apps. Then you get a full size dialer from where you can actually directly place a call. Under that you have alarms, a timer, news, twitter feed and even exchange rates and even the bitcoin graph. So in the settings menu you can change a few things such as the tabs you want and various changes in the tabs themselves but it's not the prettiest launcher but it's damn functional. Moving on is Kiss launcher which just screams ultra minimal. It consists of one page with a search bar at the bottom along with your favorite apps. You can search anything that is apps, contacts, quick toggles or even web results. Tapping on the circle on the left gives you all your apps in alphabetical order. Under the settings menu you can customize a few things such as the UI colors, transparency, icon pack and even provide a selection. Next we have Renegade Launcher. So it looks pretty basic at first sight but it has a few tricks up its sleeve. At the top you have the date and time followed by folder shortcuts. But on these shortcuts you can actually draw patterns to open specified apps or actions. Like if you draw specific letters you get apps starting with that letter which is pretty cool. On the left you have quick access to a few apps such as alarm, settings and on the right you also have a floating bar with access to camera, music player, search and more. The launcher does allow you to change a few things such as color scheme and layout. Following that is fast key launcher. Another super simple launcher but with a permanent keyboard on the home screen, which you can use to search for apps and contacts. Otherwise it's similar to a stock launcher with a card page, app drawer and a few customization options such as animations, grid size, drawer layout and icon pack. It's a pretty quick and lightweight launcher. After that we have computer launcher which sort of simulates Windows 10 on Android. On the desktop you have the usual icons such as my PC and recycle bin. And if you click on them you actually get a window that looks like windows. At the top bottom you have a taskbar with the start button to access all your apps and it also has proper live walking tiles. You also have access to quick toggles and an action center where you can check your notifications. I mean the attention to detail is just awesome. You also have date and time at the bottom corner. So if you want to recreate windows 10 on android then this is the launcher you should be using. Now circuit launcher is one of those experimental designs. Like it only has one page with all information. You have the date, time, battery and search bar at the top and below that you have the weather forecast and on the left is Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and cellular network info. Then you have an animation in the middle plus a few different app shortcuts. Swipe to the left to get the app drawer in list form and the only settings you can change is the color of the theme of the launcher that is from red to blue to green to any other color. Next we have Peak Launcher, another minimal one but this one has a dialer keyboard at the bottom which you can use to get quick access to different groups of apps. Swipe down to perform a google search and swipe up for the app drawer. There is also a one handed mode button on the dialer which you can press which brings down the top app shortcuts. Long press on the screen to change the wallpaper, keyboard, icon pack and status bar. So with this launcher you get speed which is what it's designed for. Last but definitely not the least is this cool concept launcher called Gravity Launcher. Here you have a single home screen where all your apps are freely suspended and float on the screen according to your device movement. So it's just really fun using this launcher. A few customizations that you can make is enable or disable gravity mode, change the backgrounds, fonts and effects. Though the ads can be pretty annoying.